first thing first what we'll need for this project are a pair of strap heels i got mine from shein they were on sale wherever you choose to get yours from it's fine you don't gotta get them from shein but we'll need them you'll also need some rhinestone string in which i got this from etsy um i don't remember exactly how many yards i bought i want to say about eight to nine yards but you can literally choose how many yards you would like um next you will need some fishing line because we will be doing a little bit of sewing in this diy um i like the fishing line because it gives off like that transparent look vibe because you can't see the clear on the clear heels blah 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 but yeah you'll definitely need that and a needle um you also need some e6000 glue well, you don't need it. It's a preference, but I decided to use it because I wanted to make sure like my heels were completely intact so that they're not falling apart. And you'll need some scissors, scissors of course. Um, make sure there's some heavy duty scissors that can cut through literally any and everything. Shout out to my mom. I love these scissors to death. Moving on, you'll also need rhinestone sheet. Um, I bought a full rhinestone sheet. I got this from Amazon. Um, but this is just a piece that I cut off because I'm not going to need that much for this project. You probably won't either. And um, I also bought these little metal like shoestring little pieces. It's used for like if you don't want to tie your shoestring. But in this case, I'm going to be making like an ankle bracelet. And I'm just going to be able to use it to like snap it on and off. So yeah, I'm just gonna use the silver piece though. So yeah, moving on. This is the heel, the strap heel. I'm just taking the little piece of paper off because right here, I had to actually measure this around my ankle to make sure like when I put the shoe on, it's nice and sturdy and fit it to my ankle. So I pretty much measured it around my ankle and I put the little needle through it to know where I need to sew it at. So that way I don't have too much looseness on my ankle and I also didn't want it too tight either. So I made sure that I stuck the needle exactly where I needed it to be for sewing. Um, so right here, I just moved the little piece to the side because we're going to use that piece for the rhinestone string to stick that through. But right here, I'm just sewing it together because we're going to need to cut the extra like clear strap off that we won't need. So I'm just sewing it down the middle. That way it'll stay intact around my ankle the entire time. But... I decided to do these heels because I had seen them on Instagram and when I seen them I was just like these are so cute like I can definitely see myself in these for like a nice little date night with my hubby or you know just vibing out going out blah 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 but I had to remake these because I definitely was not about to pay like 150 or something for them um, I don't know it was like between 150 200 dollars I was like, I'm not about to pay that especially if I know I can make them so here I am doing a DIY just showing y'all like you know you can make these like if you don't want to spend that kind of money on something that you know you can make yeah you, you might as well just go ahead and DIY it yourself sis but um moving on you see I had made sure it was sturdy first but it was nice and sturdy. I moved the, the clear piece back to the middle. And next, I'm just going to cut the excess little clear plastic off. You know, the little strap plastic off. I cut the excess of that off because I do not need all of that. Because I already had measured it to my ankle to make sure that it fits around my ankle perfectly the way that I would like it. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm long-winded right now. Like, I'm just going. But there it goes. And that's pretty simple. That's all to it. That's all you're going to be sewing anyway. So, moving on. Next, we're going to go ahead and put our rhinestone adhesive sheet up there. Um, it has a sticky back. If you order the sticky back one, you really don't have to use the E6000 glue, but I wanted to use the E6000 glue to make sure that it had extra security so that my shoe not falling apart, my rhinestone 
not falling off my shoe like I don't think that's cute I want everything to be like completely intact in place and and you know looking good on your girl so I'm just right here I'm just putting the e6000 glue up there you don't want to put too much because you do not want to make this a messy project at all we don't want to make it messy pull the back off the paper back off for the adhesive rhinestone you can tell it's sticky I went ahead and place that up there neatly and gently and slowly like i understand that this video going fast but you want to make sure that you do it really neatly and slowly and you also want to make sure that you line up the rows on the rhinestone perfectly like because you don't want to do too much and you don't want to do too little because then you have to do, start all over and if you gotta start all over it's gonna get messy but yeah you want to make sure that you cut the extra excess of the rhinestone sheet off and look how perfect that is like that look good like i made sure that the rows matched up i got it up there neatly across but the hardest part was the ankle piece because that little little piece that moved side to side was kind of like in a way but you know your girl finessed it i was able to do it um i also made sure that the rows lined up up here because I really had to take my time on this part because this could be like a hit or miss like if you mess up on this part I really feel like it's no going back especially if you're using the E6000 glue now even if you're using just the adhesive part of the like stickiness like once it's up there it's hard to kind of like take it off but I was gentle I took my time and if you notice I was taking the paper off as I laid it down on the ankle strap so i put it through the loop even even gently and slowly as well because i definitely did not want the glue to get caught up on the loop because you know that has to move side to side in order for me to be able to get one side of the adhesive paper from one side to the other if that makes sense i just feel like i'm just rambling at this point but y'all see what i'm doing like it's it's not hard it's a little strategic but it's not as hard as it may look i will hope it doesn't look as hard and yeah the process wasn't that hard either but your girl finessed it i did what i had to do but the piece was kind of a little short so i had to cut a small piece to go at the end of the rest of the strap so you want to make sure that your rows match up if you do something like this. Make sure you got the same amount of rows of the rhinestones on that extra piece. And make sure that you line it up with the other piece perfectly so it looks like it's just one complete long rhinestone strip. You don't want it to look like, oh, she glued one piece and then another piece. Like You want it to come together so clean. So yeah, I made sure that it laid flat, clean, and... Like I said, make sure you don't put too much E6000 glue because it will get messy. And you don't want that messiness of that glue surrounding the rhinestones or the shoe because it will be noticeable. So just make sure you keep it clean, keep it neat. So that, you know, it comes out nicely. So that's just me cleaning it up a little. And voila, look at that. Very clean, very neat. And all good to go so now we're gonna do the anklet bracelet that i said i wanted to make with the little metal strap i said metal strap oh my gosh the metal piece for like the shoestring but yeah i used that to make the little ankle bracelet because you know i just wanted a little bit more bling around my leg so i went ahead and took the little rhinestones off the ends like some of the rhinestone off the ends because on on the inside of the little metal piece it's like a rigid opening so when you stick the string in there the rhinestone string in there you'll stick it through the rigid part and then you'll close it and it'll clamp and so that it's nice and like sturdy and tight so that's what I'm showing you right now so you'll stick that in right into the rigid opening and you want to make sure you don't have any rhinestones up there it is a little hard depending on how thick you get your string because i did get the string pretty thick 
So I just used the needle to stick it through. So you want to be careful if you do that though. And then I just closed it and look at that. Nice and sturdy, simple. Do the other side. I promise you guys, this is so simple. You do not have to create the ankle bracelet if you don't want to. I just wanted that extra bling around my ankle, around my leg. So look, it's a nice little magnetic piece, simple. So now moving on to the rhinestone string. I made sure that I bought this in a nice long yard, yardage, blah, blah, blah. I hope I'm saying that right. So that it goes up to my thigh, wrap up to my thigh, because you know I want that bling going up my leg, you know. And that was simple. Like I just put it right through the little loop that I told you guys that you don't want to get glue on. Put that right through the loop, and that process was just so simple. That was that's just the final outcome. Like it's really easy to do. But yeah, a hundred and what fifty to two hundred dollar shoes me in a matter of like an hour easy but this is the shoe without the anklet and this is the one with the anklet it kind of switched over pretty fast but this is the final product you guys i love them i can't wait to wear them out with my boo and it's simple i hope you guys loved it you guys should give it a try don't forget to subscribe comment thumbs up and even share this video Thank you guys.